Greetings Commanders, welcome back to Elite Dangerous Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to be going over a few changes pretty much needed for the Python to function and the way that I run it in Elite Dangerous. Now the major changes I've done is adding some whole reinforcement packages. We're sticking with an A6 shield generator. I have done some testing with Biweaves and the bad guys just tend to rip through it way too fast. Okay, so let's say you're out bounty hunting, and you found yourself a nice, fat, juicy target, and you start engaging. And if they pop chaff, standard procedure to untarget them, and then dodge them. Like that. That'd be a good idea. And it looks like I'm taking on a group of three, so this is a perfect time for shield cell banks. Shield cell. Activating shield cell. Watch the heat. 101 and then it drops. Now that's while firing both beam lasers and not boosting. Shield cell. Activating shield cell. Shield cell. Activating shield cell. The Python is just not maneuverable enough to warrant the need for biweaves. I would suggest using biweave shield generators on much more maneuverable craft, like the Fertilance, which is an absolute joy to fly. Now, so in your size 6 internal component slots, you're going to be using two D5 hull reinforcement packages. They do not make larger sizes for some reason. I wish they did. It would be awesome. Other than that, we're going to be running size B4 shield cell banks, three of them. This will give you 15 shield cell banks to burn through, which is plenty if you're on the run and gun and you're getting shot at. And then you're going to be using two more class 3D hull reinforcement packages just underneath your shield cell banks. And uh, that's pretty much it, commanders. With the size 4 shield cell banks, you don't overheat while using them as long as you are not boosting or firing all your weapons at the same time. So you shouldn't have any overheating issues except for maybe going up to sometimes about 101 to 105% heat. That's not enough to damage a ton of internal components, but this still enables you to use quad class A shield boosters for a really hard brick tank with a little bit of on the spot shield regeneration. As far as weapon loadouts, we're still going to be using our turreted beam lasers, our gimbaled pulse cannon, and our two large gimbaled cannons. And that's pretty much it for the Python uh, refit video. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, this is Mini, signing out.